The boys' championship game is already set, so today it's all about the young women. Four teams are still standing, but there's only room for two in the big game. Let's find out who it will be. A much anticipated matchup between the North Country Mavericks and the Twin Bridges Falcons. Twin Bridges in a 17-4 hole in the second quarter. Allie Dale gets the bucket over the defense as she's doing everything she can for the Falcons. Mavericks up 22-6 now. Shelby Labrie bangs home three-pointer. North Country led 32-12 at halftime. Dale trying to put the Falcons on her back. She tied for a game-high 22 points, but it wasn't nearly enough. The Mavericks were just unstoppable in a 58-33 win as they punched their ticket to the championship where they'll play for their second straight title. The Melstone Bronx and the Roy Winifred Outlaws to play for the final championship spot. Second quarter, Bell Collins hits Emma Myrie on the back door and she gets the end one. Melstone trail just 15 to 14 at halftime. But the Outlaws found their offense in the third. Dakota Crabtree scores at the basket to put them ahead 22 to 14. Then on the fast break, Laney Elnish sidesteps the defense and puts it in off the glass. That one put them ahead by 16. Bronx went scoreless for six minutes in the third, but this three-pointer by Collins broke that streak and made it 30 to 17. But the Outlaws lead only continues to grow and they'll head to the championship to compete for their second title in three years. The championship games will get going with the boys first playing at six o'clock and the girls games will follow at 7.30. For all your tournament coverage, check out montanasports.com. From the Four Seasons Arena, I'm Dante Williams with MTN Sports.